Hello my friends, um, today I would like to show you how to illustrate a crystal structure of a morph using Crystal Maker. Um, let's start with a very simple morph, Middle Ornic Framework, Morph 5. So we open the zip file of Morph 5 with Crystal Maker. So I am using Crystal Maker version 9. First of all, I would like to change the background of this one. Second one, I will hide hydrogen because hiding hydrogen make the crystal structure look better, clearer, and easy to um, to be visualized at the very beginning. So. Um, I want to introduce you some of the functions on the left. So, a hand tool that you can use to free rotate the structure, something like that. And then the next one, the selection tool to um, whether you can choose a group of items or you can choose every single item like this. Another one called laser tool that you can freely choose the items. Um, and this is the center. You center everything and this we resize everything to be fit with um, the screen. They call out to scale. Uh, and this one is zoom in, zoom out. During the zoom in you can press shift to make it faster, something like that. Okay, and uh, for the direction view, we can set up the direction view by choosing A, B, or C, or um, Miller, Fland, if you would like. So let's start with A. So next one, I want to, I want to reset the color of the items. For carbon, one of the one I like to use is 68, 68, and 68. So you can use either uh, red, green, blue sliders or a color indicated before uh, by choosing tin, steel, iron, etc. So here I like to use um, a code uh, noted before. So, okay, for carbon, I also set up the radius of carbon to 0 0.6. Um, for oxygen, that value should be a bit bigger, 0 0.65. Um, for zinc, the color of zinc I would like to use is aqua. And now we make it fit to screen. You can go the next step. You go to model, model inspector, and here you can set up the um, the um, view of item. For example, spear or spear and stick bones or polyhedra in case of um, you want to show how the cluster link together and um, especially in MOV I like to use the spear and stick bones for carbon and the same for oxygen items for zinc it depends on um, some specific situation that whether you want to show the cluster by polyhedra or you will have to demonstrate clearer by using bone and stick, something like that. So let's use the polyhedra setup for the zinc cluster. And the next one, I want to change this to be a little bit darker by using steel color for the bone. And I apply it to all bone style. So to make it a bit larger, you can change the bonus stick um, percentage to let's say 40 
and here around 60. For the unit cell, normally I use solid light instead of the uh, the um, dashed one. The width, let's use 3. And color, I love this color to be used in the unit cell. And you can choose whether you want to show multiple unit cells when you enlarge the crystal structure or you just want to show only one primitive unit cells by uncheck or check this one. So here I uncheck this function to show only one unit cell when we enlarge the uh, range of the crystal structure. In order to enlarge this range of crystal structure, we go to transform, set range, and then let's make it minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 for x, y, and z, and 2 for all of those directions, and click to apply it. You will see everything now is standard. So next, we go to the um, ambient setup. For item, I use 1, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1 tenth. For bond, we are going to use the same one. And polyera, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1, 110. Next step, you go to model and then you choose polyhero. And here you will see the polyhero setup of this metal cluster. In here, you will see four zinc item represented in the trihedral. In order to make it clearer, you can hide the connection between the zinc and oxygen of the carboxylate. To do that, you go to the model inspector, go to the bond, and then you hide the bond of zinc and oxygen. And now you see everything, everything is nicer. Let's set up at A direction. And one of the function I would like to introduce here is perspective. So by click to by click to the perspective function, you can be able to change the point of view. Let's use 40 Armstrong. And then center it. Maybe make it bigger to show the channel of of a moth, something like this. You also can change the direction a bit just to show how the zinc cluster can be connected to each other. One of the things you can set to you can set to increase the So you go to the, um, the model inspector, you go to the um, ambient setup, and then for the bolihara, you can choose to show the edges of the cluster to make it darker. So for example, if you use none, you won't see it, but you, when you choose dark, you will see everything much clearer. Because now the edges of the cluster is shown. So whenever you satisfied with your crystal structure, you can export to image. So file, export, pixel wrap it, and then the resolution, you choose around 300 pixels. Click OK. Put it here, modify. Demonstration.
equation and then have a look so it's, it's quite nice comparing to the the raw crystal structure of morphine so we use this one to illustrate the connection of um, of, of every single materials that you would like to show you can make a um, very nice uh, table of graphite um, table of uh, content graphite something like that